Speaking of tech now, tonight, use your cell phone like cash. You can buy a product like candy from a vending machine, an Ottawa firm about to make it a reality. All I have to do, uh, choose my product. Same basic process. Same basic process. Activate my uh, infrared on my phone and point my phone like a remote control. Mohammed Tanabian founded his company Hiva just a year ago. Already he has working prototypes that will be out in field trials within a month or two. The premise is simple, how to help people make a purchase when they don't have any money on them. Hiva is very specific about the kind of market that they're after. First of all, it is young people who already use their cell phones a lot and would be willing to use them to make a purchase from a coin-operated machine. And while those purchases may be small, they're worth an awful lot. The market is estimated to be worth $100 billion. Where does all that money come from? Well, think of all the vending machines out there selling almost anything you can imagine. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's funny. Then think about SWAT and video gaming machines. Hiva is talking to the machine manufacturers. It's a way to make it easy for people to gamble. Instant access to betting funds via the cell phone. Or what about transit systems? They demand riders have tickets or exact change. What if there were ticket machines in the bus depot? You use your phone to order up a ticket and it's printed out. How cutting edge is all of this? Well, two years ago I did an interview at Algonquin College with a wireless technology specialist. He predicted exactly what Hiva is doing. Three years down the road, I'm going to be able to look at that vending machine. Well, not three years, perhaps five years. I'm going to look at that vending machine. I'm going to see that bag of chips. I'm going to click a little button. It's going to send a signal over. It's going to take money out of my bank account. That thing's going to drop for me. I'll walk over and pick it up. That day is here. Hiva is in a race with firms from other nations, all testing the same sort of technology. He hopes to have his machines in widespread use in about a year. Consumer surveys show him that 60% of cell phone users would be prepared to use this system. We have no brand new name. Nobody knows us. Second, we are new. We are poor. We don't have money. We have financial capital. We have very tight pockets. Just recently, Hiva officials sat down to listen to University of Ottawa business students analyze their plan. As a startup, Hiva has to deal with business problems as well as technology. The students reinforce the belief that there's a market. And we want to basically free people from carrying cash. So this is wherever the people have to carry cash and we, they can't use their electronic transaction systems. We're going to target it. I select my product. Let's select Smarties. Smarties, okay. D2. I get a sales ID and then I dial my service access code. An IVR system allows me to enter the sales ID mm -hmm. and then gives me the confirmation once I charge my account. With dial cell phones, you call into a central computer server, key in your product number, and that generates a bill sent to your account. The server then gives an approval code number that you punch into the vending machine and the machine gives you the product. With infrared phones, the same process is carried out, but it can be done in half the time. The vending machine companies see a chance to increase sales because it overcomes the so-called exact change syndrome. You want to buy, but you don't have the money, you don't make the purchase. And the phone companies see a chance to increase airtime use. Stay tuned. This smart idea may soon be at a machine near you.